big part of, of this book is depression, dealing with yeah. depression. Mm -hmm. And um, you have a couple of great strategies in here. You call it mild depression, meaning that you were not suicidal. Yes. And you knew that you would not be, that that was not a thing for you. Somehow, yeah, you... somehow I knew that. Um, I, I've talked since talked to a, a psychiatrist friend who said I was passively suicidal because I didn't, and I've heard this from other um, folks with depression as well. They, you don't want to kill yourself. You just want to cease to exist. And you want the pain to go away. Yeah, yeah. You just sort of wish I, I was not. I wish I was not there. And I, yeah. I think for me, I, I was never so despairing that I felt like I, I could do something like that to my and family. That's, that's gone. That's yeah. gone from yeah. you now. Well, I'm managing yeah. it. Yeah, I, I'm managing my depression with with medication. Yeah, and I'm not sure I would say it was mild. I mean, maybe I say oh, that, but do, it does it say. Was, I wondered if that was. Yeah, was I mean, it I was varying. It it varied. I I had had mild depression before, you know, earlier. But what what happens in the course of the book and what I talk about in the in the course of the book mm. is definitely more serious. I mean, yeah, I, I suppose. Compared to some people, it would be considered mild. Right. Well, the other thing that I, this book was useful in so many different ways, I mm -hmm. felt, apart from making us laugh and giving parents tips, not just mothers of twins or, or multiples, I thought that your strategies, I, I know, did you? <laughs> it fell out. You could pop it in. Yeah, I, I thought the that. strategies for dealing with depression were were really significantly mm -hmm. useful and that and people ought to know about that. So yeah. what would you say are your sort of top three or top five? Well and you know, some of these I are courtesy of my husband because he's oh. so supportive and one of the things he would say was just treat yourself like you're sick. Yeah. Not by which he didn't mean, you know, feel sorry for yourself and lie around in bed. Right. But well if you can help it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. try not to feel like you have to always be at the top of your game. It's okay to, you know, to say to some social obligations or work obligations, I I just can't. So is this especially for you because you're hard on yourself? Because you yeah. drive yourself? I do. Yeah. yeah. And I think for me it's it's always hard to let go yeah. and, and be less than yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. So right. I think that's it. I think asking for help is important. Um you, you know, whether you feel comfortable telling you know, you don't necessarily need to tell everyone you know that you're depressed, but if you find a few close friends that you can really confide in and say, So Look, don't keep I mean, it to yourself. Yeah, I don't think there's there's any reason to keep it to yourself. And you use the phrase coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Which I thought was, yeah. you know, in this day and age, I think it's something that everybody knows someone. Mm -hmm. And and also, you know, hormones can do very funny oh, things God, yeah. Yeah. to brain chemistry. Yeah, And absolutely. so... For there to be a stigma around mm -hmm. something like that, it's it's not helpful. It's not useful yeah. in any way. Yeah. But there were two things that you especially mentioned that made me chuckle, which was yeah. one that sort of shook you out of your blues, if, yeah. if that's a good word for it. Yeah. One was the Daily Show. Yeah. Yeah. So thirty minutes of canned comedy. Yeah. Literally made an instant change in your brain yeah. chemistry. Yeah, I could laughter. I was lucky because I could still see humor. Okay. And what was interesting to me is <laughs> when I would watch something like The Daily Show or a stupid comedy movie, you know, like, let's put on Caddyshack and watch some dumb right. movie. Um, I would I end up laughing harder than I normally would. It was almost this desperate laughter. I think it's it was a, a bit of a release. Yeah, yeah. yeah and my yeah. husband would be looking at me like, What's go? You know, you're you're. This is funny, but it's not that funny. But it's yeah. you know, But it just feels so good to laugh. Yes, and, and you know, and you're so grateful that you can still do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. like yeah, you sort of cling to it. And my kids, you know, I I write about the fact that I could still take some pleasure in my girls and in the funny and moments. Duty also. Oh yes, yes. The, the fact were, that you had to get up and get going, and yeah. sometimes that on its own would make you feel. Not as bad. Yeah, because it, right, I I, ha I knew I had to get up. I had to change a diaper here and there. I right. had to feed my children. So yeah, and I think having to do that, I, th I liken it in the book to jumping into a, a cold lake. Yes. You know, you it, oh, it's the worst feeling in the world to have to uh, for me anyway. I'm such a wimp about jumping into cold <laughs> water. But then once you get in, it's not that bad, right? right? You get used to it, and so yeah, I think my kids were very much right. my salvation. Right. In a lot and of ways. so to know that um, depression feeds on inactivity. Yes. You know, it any does. kind of motion. Yeah. Asking for help, and then the yeah. the last thing was going to the fairground. 
Yeah. Which I just, yeah. I thought that was the most delightful mm -hmm. scene. Tell us about that. Yeah, well, <laughs> going on the, we were in the Jersey Shore and, and going on the, it was the, the galleon, I think, which is the, um, you know, that makes the, your stomach. Yeah, it makes your yeah. stomach, right. You're up on the, you know, on the high, yeah. uh, you feel like you're about to flip over or fall out, you know, the, the boat. And um, yeah, being on that, it was like it gave my body a physical sort of jolt. It literally, yes. Yeah, it, I was it, like, oh, this is how shock therapy works. That's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if I should say that, but that's right. exactly what I thought, that right. that must be what it's like. Yeah. So